Now welcome to my first screencast. This is to do with photo editing. As I'm sure most of you hate trying to edit photos without any good software. Example, Photoshop. Photoshop is a very expensive photo editing tool, but also admit it is very good tool. But as I can't afford it, I needed to find a free cheap solution. So I come across an online solution called Pixar. It's at www.pixlr.com. Very easy to use, it's brilliant. This is the main website here, as you can see. And I'm personally going to go into the editor. As you can see, you get this screen come up. You can create a new image. You do that, just click OK. Or you can open up an image of my computer. Or open an image from my URL. I'm just going to quickly show you a little bit. So I'm going to open up an image of my computer. Uh, I'm going to open up this one. And I'm going to open another one. Try this one. And just for fun, back into here. Yeah. As you can see, it's very similar to Photoshop for you people that used it. The toolbar down here, navigation bar here. And it is basically not like uh, Photoshop. Now I can move this image, click on there, move that. I have nothing to move on there, but if I want to drag this photo in, to here, simply click on here, hold, drag it into here, move it out to here. Now, obviously, you can't see any way to resize it, but this is where a lot of people make mistakes. I find they usually go to image resize, change it, don't do that. Instead, go into editor, free transfer. Free transform. So, this brings up this box here. Now, if I should go to the corner, to the side, to anywhere on the other mouse, like so, you should go to a corner and I can make it any size I want. Make it back to front, drop away, size. Now I can do basically resource here however I want. Click in the middle, redrag it. Cancel that set. Now stretch it. Turn it. And so you basically have plenty of options. I leave it a bit big here. Click there and play. Come back up here. Now open my ears again, just like that to show. I right click and I can go down to my style. Again, it's a bit like that to show. We've got a drop shadow. You see now there's a shadow, change the size. Angle, so and so on, and so on. I can also give it no shadow if I want. No, not to glow, and in the glow. Here's that. Again, you can duplicate, delete, and so on, and so on. Keep it very, very good for it. 
use our text if we want to, so it's like Do that, move anywhere, change size. Make it nice and big, can I move it over in a sec? Old colour, again colour, or use the box wrench or thing to pick your own colour. Pick gold, click here. So I'm going to drag it. And if I want to, I'll go back into here and drop shadow. And it has default. Works pretty good. Here you have plenty of effects. I don't know what I'm doing with these effects, but comparing to again some more Photoshop. Yeah, pretty much the same sort of stuff in there. Yeah, layers, images. Yeah, so it's it's a very good program to be honest. You pick your own language as well, which is useful. So obviously you don't speak English, but you speak uh, French. French, you should change. I'll show you. See, it's all French now. I'm going to go back to English. And the view sort of program, cloning, okay, that's a clone tool. No. <laughs> anyway, you have like a clone tool. You have basically everything that Photoshop needs and everything that you need to edit a photo. It's impressed to be honest for a free online photo editor has got not as much as Photoshop has got but enough for a beginner to use which I am a beginner and this website is absolutely ideal for what I want for free so if you're looking for ways to edit a photo check out www pixlr.com This screencast was done for www.geekstech.co.uk and I've got no problems at all if people like Chris Pollo or Robert Brown would like to use this video on their website. Feel free to share and spread it around as much as you like. But please visit us at our own website at www.geekstech.co.uk.